Hey guys, it's Humble Spirit, um, and today I am going to talk about these sex robots that's uh, been surfacing now. Um, and, you know, it's kind of crazy because these sex robots have been like a long time coming. Uh, I think I knew about these things about uh, maybe about three, four years ago that they were going to come. I just didn't know when, um, as you kind of don't in life. But, uh, yeah, so I think it's, you know, kind of crazy that they're surfacing now, um, but what a perfect time. Uh, so, um, just to jump right in, um, you know, these, like, sex robots or whatever, you know, it's crazy because, um, I mean, nine times out of ten, I really want to say ten times out of (laughs) ten, but, um, they have demons inside of them, and, um... The most high, I don't know, well, I don't know if you guys know about uh, the story of Genesis, just period. Like, I don't know if you guys have read it or whatever. Um, But in Genesis 6-4, you know, he talks about, the most high talks about, like, the giants having sex with the human women. And, uh, you know, he went on to basically say that he, like, highly disliked that he had made man. You know, because... um, You know, the earth was filled with so much evil. And man basically allowed it, you know. So, coming from such goodness and coming from, you know, our Heavenly Father, a being of light and good, you know, of course he's going to be upset that, uh, you know, his creation has allowed evil to fill the earth. Um, So... Now, going back to these robots or whatever, you know, these sex robots are, you know, demons inside of an artificial robotic vessel. And, uh, James 1.14 says, But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Um, so basically, you know, you're saying yes to these demons to come into your life on this level. And with that being said, they will tempt you and will be able to move forward with their plan of, like, destruction for you. You know, their plan to take you down. And, you know, especially men. I mean, come on. Satan has been setting y'all up since the garden. Like, come on. You know, he got, he got Eve to, uh, you know, uh, eat whatever forbidden fruit, and, you know, he got her to basically go on and, and get Adam to eat it as well, and, you know, Adam thinking everything's good, in a sense, you know, he went ahead and did it, um, and, you know, it's crazy because Satan has been using women, uh, to, you know, take down men since then, and, uh, women are, like, his number one, like, tactic, his number one, uh, what would be the word for it? Like, you know, his number one, uh, scheme, in a sense, you know? It, it's, it's like his go-to trick to, uh, take a guy down. Because guys are so, you know, like, weak for women. Y'all think girls are just, like, all good. And, because y'all see that image and girls are all dolled up. But, as I said in my other podcast, I mean, hey definitely don't be deceived by a pretty face but anywho um yeah so he's been setting y'all up since the garden or whatever and uh now this demon you know that is inside of these sex robots is called succubus and i don't know if you guys know anything about demons or anything you know on that level but they're like i always say they're really this really is a spiritual world and we really you know are out here fighting against things that we cannot see Which are the demons. And uh, a vessel... Okay, so, you know, a vessel can't move. And a vessel can't, um, you know, uh, do anything unless there's something that is controlling it. A robot is, you know, just like a box in a sense. A made-up fake box. And something has to move it. So, I mean... (laughs) a demon is the only thing that can move it. Now, if you guys have something else that can move uh, an artificial vessel, then y'all let me know, because I haven't heard of that. But um, definitely demons that move these robots, that move these clones, that move these artificial boxes, basically. 
Um, and like I said, you know, the demon that's inside of these sex robots, some type, um, it could be a seducting spirit or it can be the succubus. And succubus is actually a male demon that takes form of a woman to have sex with a man rather, you know, it be in his dreams or real life. The name succubus, period, means to lie under. In which, I mean, that's what these sex robots are doing, right? <laughs> um, so, I mean, there you go. The thing is, though, you know, God made intercourse so we could continue to multiply the earth for him. Now, I mean, come on. we it, It's definitely not why people have sex now and definitely not the goal of these sex robots. I mean, it's definitely not the goal of sex now. People go out and have sex because they feel like they want to. They feel like they need a nut, you know. They feel like they need... You know what I mean? Like, whatever sexual release. Um, so, you know, not it's, it's not to go out here, find a wife, or find a husband, and, you know, have a family with him for our Heavenly Father. It's now to just do it, basically. Um, and, you know, our Father looks at that, us all going around having sex with everybody, as like, you know, sexual, a big, you know, like, orgy, a big demon orgy. Because you're doing nothing but passing demons back and forth, basically. But that's a whole other podcast. Um, yeah, so, uh, and, and the goal of these sex robots, I mean, you know, it's it's to not multiply. It's to continue to depopulate, you know. It is to, it, as well as whatever spiritual things. But, you know, it's to, you know, make guys not, make guys want artificial instead of, you know, the real thing. Um, you know, now there could be, like I said, different demons, uh, within these things or whatever, but the sole purpose of these is sin, you know, just like everything else on this defiled earth, I mean, is, is here for you to sin. Uh, lust is a sin, guys, and sexual perversion is a sin, and it, and it all comes from demons, so, you know, you're lusting, you're a man and you're lusting after these women, but no woman will do the the crazy perverse things that you want her to do so you go and you get this robot and that's all you know that's all just demon mentality and then you're basically going to a demon because you have that demon mentality you have those demon qualities you know you want you want those things in a girl but you know you're not finding finding it fully i guess and you know you're going to these sex robots which are demons you're you know you're basically meeting a demon with a demon you know, and uh, so, and I feel like, honestly, you know, if you feel like you need a robot for sex because real girls won't do what you need them need them to, I feel like, you know, that's honestly something you should pray about because, like I said, that's demon mentality and that's, you know, some sort of demon meeting a demon. And, you know, if you don't have a wife, then maybe, you know, you should ask yourself why, <laughs> honestly. But uh, moving on, uh, the Most High says in Daniel 2.43, And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Uh, you know, he's speaking about robots, period, guys. These sex robots, these clones walking about that we can't even tell are artificial <laughs> because our reality is so fake. And, you know, I mean, I understand why guys want these robots, you know, because girls are not easy to deal with and girls are crazy and, you know, girls are, are very evil, especially nowadays. Um, you know, but it's nothing but Satan trying to use his time wisely, you know, like we all should be doing, really, instead of buying, you know, buying these things, instead of buying these sex robots, instead of worrying about our own desires and, you know, just being on that level. Like we all should be using our time wisely because time is short. It's, it's short for, you know, the demons and, and Satan and it's, and it's short for us as well, guys. It's like rather the world ends or not, you know, it's like you're going to die, you know, your vessel is temporary, so regardless, you should walk, you know, the straightaway path, you should walk the path of righteousness, you should walk the path of good, you should meet good with good, give off good energy at all times, get that back, um, so, you know, like I said, he's using his time wisely, and, 
you know, he's trying to keep real true love out of grasp. You know, he's trying to make sure people aren't coming together on any level. You know, and I see it as as another divide and conquer tactic, really. I mean, as a, you know, I mean, as as if feminism wasn't enough and turning men into women and et cetera. But, you know, I definitely see it as another uh, divide and conquer tactic as well as a uh, distraction, <laughs> like major. So definitely be, you know, watching out for distractions that the devil may put in our past to not see what's going on. Because I think um, uh, everybody was, has been, like, talking about uh, sex robots within this week is what when you know, when I've been hearing it. And, um, you know, I think that's crazy because there's been a lot that's going on. Volcanoes erupting and earthquakes felt in, like, three different cities. And, you know, I mean, there's a lot going on. So they're definitely trying to distract us. So definitely be paying attention to that. Um you know, but the sad thing is people are fine with these robots, you know, because we are so vain as people and only go after our own desires. And like I said, you know, that's only going to um, lead you to perish. I mean, that's only going to lead you to death for eternity. That's not going to these things out here don't give you life, you know. And uh, what I think is going to happen, honestly, uh, with these things is, you know, I think they're going to start to malfunction and they're probably going to. I don't want to say this, and I'm sorry for any guys that's listening, but, you know, they're probably going to start cutting guys' privates off, you know, or, you know, have some type of secret programming to kill. I think the first artificial robot that they brought out, the, the AI intelligence that they brought out, they were like, um, they were like, hey, you know, what's your mission here or whatever? And she's like, oh, to kill humans, <laughs> depopulate. So, you know. I, I definitely think something's going to be happening. You're going to see some some um, things on the news or articles or whatever saying that the first robot, sex robots, and like killed somebody or you know something horrible. Um, because like I said just now, you know, because let's not forget the depopulation plan that's a part of the Agenda 2030. Well, formally uh, the Agenda 21. You know, and they're trying to depopulate. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if these things malfunction. Um, you know, so I guess we will see. But, you know, you better believe, guys, this is some last day stuff. And when our Heavenly Father seen the demons having sex with the humans, uh, you know, in Genesis, he went on to save his people. You know, he found favor in and his am- animals and he ended the world. So, you know... I mean, that's kind of what's going on, guys. Are you guys seeing any type of, you know, connections? Um, The people, you know, back then in Genesis, they didn't even see it coming because nobody has the most time on their minds, you know, then and now. Nobody's walking a path he laid out for us. And because they were caught up in their own desires, you know, they, they didn't see it coming. They wasn't, you know, they didn't see it about to hit them, what was about to hit, um, like now. And, uh, you know, guys, that's exactly what's going what's going to happen again. Like I always say, we're going back to the beginning of things. So, you know, you guys need to really be paying attention. Um, you know, so with all that being said, you know, please continue to listen to my podcast. Show love. Uh, please continue or start praying and reading the Holy Bible. Because all these things that are happening in today's world, literally, you can just pick them right out of the Bible. Um, our Father's not going to give us any type of... Uh, you know, book or something if it doesn't have anything that we need in it. It's not going to give you anything you don't need. So, definitely start reading that if you can. Um, and always be thinking of what pleases God and what pleases the Most High Period because that is what will give you life. Um, you know, and just look up, guys, for our redemption draweth nigh. And, I mean, if you can't tell with all these things going on, then, I mean, you must be very, very asleep. Um, but uh, all praise and glory to the Most High for allowing me to do this. I'm uh, very thankful for anybody that's listening. I appreciate it.